Hi you guys, I am so excited to be doing this live with you guys today. So happy Friday. If you don't know me, my name is Michelle Eldridge and I've been in mascara for um, a little over two years now. September 2nd was my two year anniversary. Rah, 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 right? I hope I'm in the right group. Um, hope somebody hops on lives and tells me if I'm not, if I'm actually where I need to be or not. I'd say I am because nobody's hopped on yet because I was a little late. Sorry about that. But I was trying to, you know, look and see what you guys were asking about. What did you need? Um, and I saw a couple things that stuck out to me that I feel like I am capable of talking about and, and I'm good at. So, um, that I feel I'm good at. Obviously, I'm not the best and I still learn every single day. Um, uh, but, so we're going to talk about leadership and culture today. I mean, sorry, leadership and, um, time management. Um, and as far as leadership culture does fall into that. So I, I saw a lot of you ask, um, you know, how do you, you know, motivate your team? How do you keep them, you know, going and, you know, still, like, how do you work that time? And I'm going to tell you, so I am a mom. I have two kids. One of my kids, um, he's in school. So Monday through Friday, I take him to school at 8 a.m. And I pick him up at 3 p.m. every single day. And then I have a three-year-old who's laying in the floor on the phone right now. That's here with me all day, okay? And so it's, I, I want, obviously, to work around them, not you know, the other way around. And so I had to really practice, especially as I started growing my team, time management. And it is just, it, it comes down to, it really boils down to what is most important to you. And I, I know that everybody that's in this group raised your hands. You want to be a leader. You want to grow in mascara and build. And so I feel like I can say that if it's truly a priority for you, you're going to make the time. And so what I do, so I work another job as well. It's also from home, but I do do that around seven, eight hours a day as well. So I have that, my kids, and mascara, which is my baby. So I always make time for it. So what I do is every morning, and this, and this, this, you can do this at night. You can do this in the morning. You can do whatever. But it's, it's you, you, if it's a priority for you, you will make the time, okay? So I get up every single morning and you not, you know, it's, we do a blitz. My team does a blitz. So every morning, um, I'll wake up, hey, Ashley, and I will get up like an hour earlier than I actually have to, um, so that I have time to work and create content or do things for mascara, um, because when it comes time to get my son up for school, by the time that I get back, um, by 9 a.m., I have to start my other job. So I make sure that I'm up earlier than I have to be. And at first it sucked. <coughs> it really sucked. But I had to tell myself that I wanted to do it. I want to get up. I want to have this time because I want my business to continue to grow. I don't want it to, you know, fall to the back burner. I want my team to continue to grow. And so I get up about an hour earlier than normal. And when it's time to like eat breakfast or lunch or dinner or help with homework or do baths or whatever, the phone is down, right? Their time is their time. And, and when I have to work on my other job, Luckily, I can still check messages and do things probably I shouldn't be doing, <laughs> but I still check and respond to messages. I may make a post. It takes 30 seconds, but really, truly, if you use an hour a day focus, even if you block that out into like 15 minute intervals at a time, if it's truly focused instead of just scrolling blindly, you are going to build this business like you will. There's no doubt. And I know it because I'm doing it. I'm still doing it. And it's funny, now that I have less time, because at first this was the only thing that I did, and now I have another job at home as well. So it's, um, now that I have less time, I actually do more in the time that I have. And um, it's it's odd, 
oddly enough, but I get more done in less time than I did when I had the full day to do mascara. And it's just like a report in school. They give you two weeks to do it. You're going to take two weeks to do it. But if they give you two days to do it, you're going to do it in those two days. So carve out some time for you, even if it means staying up a little later or getting up a little earlier. Do that. And that's all it will take. Most of you know what the things are, but I'm going to tell you what my daily mode of operation is, um, what I do without fail every single day, no question, it has to happen before my head hits the pillow or like I don't sleep. So every single day, and this may not be your jam, okay, so take what resonates with you, okay, and the rest don't. Right? If you got something that works for you outside of this, keep doing that. But I'm going to tell you what I do. I make sure every single day that I post on Instagram, I post on Facebook every day. I might post, it might be a live on Facebook, it might be a post, but I always, at least once a day, post on Instagram and Facebook. Okay? And hey, Emily. Hey, everybody. Um, and then throughout the day, I always do stories. And I do them on my Instagram, and I share them to my Facebook every single day. Hey, Bridget. Um, every day, without fail. At least seven story segments every day. Now, it doesn't have to be makeup related, but you want to stay relevant. So, at least one post or one video a day on each platform is my suggestion. And stories. Because some people on Instagram especially, they don't even look at the feed. I don't. I just look at the stories. So, I try to think of, of like what's the consumer doing with their time. And for me, as a consumer on Instagram, I'm going through stories. So, I want to stay relevant. I want to stay at the stop of their feed. So, every day I do stories on Instagram. I share them to Facebook. Again, at least seven uh, throughout the day, right? And then I post once, like I said, on Instagram, once on Facebook, whether it's a video or whatever. And then I will send, now brace yourselves, because some of you ain't going to like this one, but that's okay. So every day I send 20 messages total, 20 total, okay? And that's just me. Um, you know, I may look at a post or check my stories and see who you know, has been interacting with me consistently or something like that. And I reach out to them. Okay. I reach out to them 20 people a day per day, every day. And when I first started, it took me like 45 minutes to do that. Okay. Hey, how are you, Kirsty? Elizabeth, I don't know what to call you now, <laughs> but um, it used to take me like 45 minutes. Now it takes me 20 minutes because I used to overthink what to say what, whatever, um, and now I don't. I've got a rhythm, but you have to find that for you, and don't start at 20. That would be ridiculous if you're not messaging anybody, and you want to reach out to somebody. Like, Jackie has this thing where it's like, why haven't I already, why haven't I color matched you yet? Like, if it's somebody that's watching your stories, that's been watching your stories forever, something as simple as that would be enough. Because they're going to react. You already have a relationship with them. So don't be afraid to offer it. Because here's the thing. Okay. The only thing that will stop you from reaching out to somebody. Instead of waiting on them to reach out to you. Is belief. Okay. So I want you to look around in your own life. In your teams. In everybody that you see in mascara. And ask yourself. Has this changed my life in some way? Has this changed somebody else's life in some way? And if the answer is yes. If the answer is yes, then why wouldn't you want to at least offer it to them, right? Offer it to them. They get to make the decision, but you know that you offered them that life-changing solution. And, and in this case, I'm talking about recruiting specifically. Hey, Jackie. Um, but, but it also works as far as makeup too, right? But since we're focusing on Top Hacker, you can literally reach out to customers and say, you know, I don't know why I haven't ever mentioned the artist program to you. I am so sorry. Um, if I if I sent you some information about it, would you be open to take a look at it? That's it. That's it. The end, right? They can say yes or no. Or they can nothing. It's not the end of the world either way, but you need to get through the people that don't want you necessarily to be an artist to find the ones that do. And your customers are going to be your prime, prime, 
from contestants, okay? And they don't necessarily have to be customers either. I got in this mindset of, well, they need to try the makeup first. And when I finally got out of that gear, I have tons of people now who never tried the makeup before becoming artists. How many of you had, didn't try the makeup before you became an artist, but still have this hang up around it maybe? Just reach out to people. It could be two people, but, but try it. Try it, see how it goes. That's all I can say. It works for me. That's what I'm going to say. And other than that, I make sure that the Blitz chat that we have for the people who raise their hands has a challenge in it. My, my girls take turns. I'll post a challenge one day, and then they volunteer to do that. So that's what I do every day. It's really simple. That's all that I do, okay? Yes, yeah, see, Bridget didn't drive first, but you're here, and I've seen your makeup, and it looks bomb, right? Um... And that's kind of how it works. And I, so now we're gonna we're gonna kind of talk about it. So, as far as the blitz or my team and how I take care of them and being a good leader in the time that I have, which is not much. Okay, it's not much time. If you weren't on here when I said that, I have two kids. One I pick up and take to, picked up take to school and pick up every day, and then a three year old at home plus a job that I work se seven eight hours a day at home as well. Plus, of course, I've got to cook, got to clean, got to whatever. So I have this. Right? So I have this mascara is my baby. So I have to make time for it because it's my baby, because it's a priority to me. And that's what you have to decide. How big of a priority is it to you? Is it a big enough priority for you to do like I do and get up an hour earlier? Because in an hour, everything except a live video, if I'm going to do a video that day, a live video, I can do everything on my list except that. But the only thing you need to worry about as a leader is being a good example. Everything is already um, set up for you. We already have everything that a new artist will need. HelloTeamFreedom.com has a legit everything. Everything in the Glow Getters group has everything that they need. And if they ask you a question, awesome. Point them to that. But if you have people on your team who aren't necessarily working, but they're happy, they're they're wearing the makeup, they might have even bought some new products, but they're not doing anything else. It's not your job to motivate them. It's not your job to do that. It's truly not. That's not on you. You don't carry that. All you can do is be the example. Make sure if they ask questions, point them to the answer and say, you know what, um, if you ever decide to, you know, build a team, you can point them to that same thing if they ask you that question, right? We have, like, I'm sure most of you have team chats. Um, we have a team chat, and if somebody has a question, they ask. It's not all on me. There's other people that will answer the questions, and I don't have to think, how much time do I have to give my team today? Can I, can I spare that much time? Because truly and honestly, after they're brand new, they don't require a lot because it's already there for them. It's there for them. And what I like to do personally, and Jackie may not do this, y'all may not do this, but I do this, okay? What I like to do is I like to say, go through the new artist tab on HelloTeamFreedom.com and report back to me, right? Because we know that the new artist tab says, go over this with your sponsor. If they don't report back, then that tells me that they didn't even go through it. Right? So I'm not going to waste my time. You know, I may check up with them, say, how are you? You know, did you get to check that out? Maybe one time. But I'm not going to press the issue. It's there for them when they have time. But the priority may not be as big for them as it is for me, and we have to understand that. Right? So when a girl, for instance, and I, we're going to shift into something else right now. So when a girl on my team um, does their first live video or their first announcement post or um, maybe they get their first customer or they reached out to the first person they've ever reached out to ever, that's scary. That is so scary. Do you remember being new and how scary the first time you pushed the live button was or the first time you tried to color, get your color, first color match photo and you're about to die or your first makeover? I shout people out for that. So, like, I'll recognize people for that. That's how you motivate your own people. That's, you don't, it's not your job to motivate them, but if you want to inspire them, that's how you do it. You make them feel good where they are. 
whether they're getting sales or they're hitting ranks or whatever, you celebrate them. You celebrate the girl on your team who's just really supportive and cheers on everybody and welcomes everybody that gets put in the group. You celebrate the girl or done her live video. You, you recognize these people because you can be an awesome leader, but if you're not doing enough recognition, like you don't want to do it every day because it, you don't, but at least once a week, pick someone to spotlight for some reason, any reason. And if it is a reason of like rank or, you know, they made X amount of money really, really fast or they done something really fast that nobody's done. Like it's really shocking. Make sure and say, you know, hey, she's a she's got three kids or she's got a full time job and whatever. Let people know what she's overcoming, what she's sacrificing to make that happen. And if say you have some influence and it was easy for you to come in and get 10 people. Right. And somebody else comes in and does like make sure that they're aware that this person's been building like Cat Fairchild for five years on social media. Five years. And when she was starting mascara, Cat barely could get, you know, nine hundred dollars in sales for so long and it finally clicked. But she's been building that for five years straight consistently. Right? That part has to be added so that your other team members will root for them and be inspired by that. Instead of think, well, I didn't do that. That's impossible for me. I'm not going to Cabo, right? I can't because I'm not so-and-so. When in reality, they have obstacles too. And if we put that out there, everybody will root for them. Everybody's had to go through something to get where they are. Everybody starts at the exact same place. Everybody starts at the exact same place. We, we all just build in our own way. Faster, slower, either way is fine, and we have to recognize that. We have to recognize that it's okay, and that not everybody who says they're going to do X, Y, Z is going to, but that don't mean that you shouldn't love them. It just means you should not push them unless they raise their hand and say, hey, I, I love, I want you to coach me. Like, I want you to, you know, tell me what to do. And in that case, if somebody does say, you know what, I'm hungry, I want to build, then as a leader, say, awesome. Okay, so this is what you should do. Let's do, um, how about do some stories, uh, create some stories about the artist program, put it in your feed, and anybody who, um, and put a poll up, and anybody who does that, or interacts with your poll if anyone does don't worry if they don't it happens um, let me know how reach out to them and let me know how that goes if they don't report back then they weren't that serious so you know whether or not to spend your time pushing them like they say they want you to right people show you what they want and what they don't what they don't want though is to be pushed when they're not ready for that that's why this group was specifically tailored for people who said, I want to push, right? I want to build here. I want to push. It's okay if I'm pushed. That's why you're here, right? And that's why I'm sharing that with you. Not everybody is like we are. Not everybody makes mascara a priority. But those of you who are, which are you who are watching this, make it a priority. If you have a lot going on, Get up earlier. Stay up later. Truly, if you cut out about three or four 15-minute segments and truly focus in those times, you will build this business. Hands down, zero doubt, you will build this business. I came into Mascara with 125-ish Facebook friends. Okay? That's it. I didn't have Instagram, and the friends I did have didn't like me because I have a background. I was on drugs before. I was in jail before. All these things, and it's a small, teeny-weeny town that I live in with no Walmart, no nothing for at least an hour, okay? Everybody knew me. So when I joined, I didn't wear makeup before this. None! But I made it a priority to make it happen. And I, I was, I was coachable. I done what was suggested to me because that's the only thing I knew. There was no chance of me reinventing the wheel because I didn't know anything to 
whatever. And success leaves clues. You're going to hear that a million times. If you're in this for the long haul, you're going to hear a hundred bazillion, bazillion times. I was stuck at Top Packer for over a year. And you know how many directs I had? <laughs> I have so many direct to me. I'm talking a lot of directs. But I couldn't get past Top Hacker. I'm like 30 some strong and still a Top Hacker. And I would kick myself for that all the time. And when I finally let go of that and realized that it's not, I'm not ready for it yet. I can't be or I'd be there. There's something somewhere in my mind or something I'm not doing that's preventing me from that. So if you've not reached Top Hacker yet, or you've not reached ambassador yet, or you've not reached whatever, whatever level you want to reach, if you've not reached it yet, it just means you're not there yet. Nobody's is going to be the same as anybody else's, but if you truly want it, and you consistently do the things you're going to get there when it's time for you. And when I did hit ambassador, I'm, I'm able to hit it without screeching, hoping and praying on the last day of the month that it happens. You know what I'm saying? Because my team was ready for that then. Our culture and the way we work together, the way we have fun together, that was ready then. And so now you don't have to, I don't have to sweat or think, gosh, I'm depending too much on Susie. You know, it's, it's not like that. Because everything's in place the way it should be, and it will be for you too. You just have to stick around long enough to, for your people to find you. Because your people aren't going to join me, right? They're not. They're not going to join me. They're not going to join Jackie. They're going to join you because you show up as yourself. People aren't joining companies, really. Truly, they're not. They're joining people. 99% of my team joined because of who I am as a person. But the people that join you aren't my people. The people who join me aren't yours. And that's why there's no cutthroatness here. And that's why you have the ability to stand out. Even though we all have the access to the same exact makeup. The same exact training. We're all on the same team. You have the same resources that I have. So there's no reason that you cannot... Grow a team. You cannot hit top hacker. There's no reason you can't do anything that you want to do. If you want to make time, if you want to build this business, make the time. At first, I'm telling you it's going to suck when you get up an hour earlier. It just will. But if you tell yourself every day, I want to be up. I want to make time for this. I want this to happen. Instead of, gosh, I really don't want to be up right now. You will make it happen. And it will become a habit. It will be easier and easier and easier every time. But don't rush yourself. I know that, I mean, if you want it, kill it. Crush it. But if it doesn't happen tomorrow, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Everybody is going to be different. It's not a race. We're not shooting for a finish line. You're already here. You already got in at the right time. You're already here. So don't rush your race. You'll miss out on so much if you're beating yourself up because you're not doing something fast enough. So do what you feel you should be doing as much as. And if you're hungry like me, that might be a lot. But if you want to take your time and find your people, that's cool too. You just have to be okay with that. And then when your team... You have to be the same with them. You have to be okay with that. Not everybody's going to want to build. Not everybody's going to even want to sell. They may just like hanging out with you. And that's cool too, right? So that's basically it. Do you guys have um, any questions for me directly while I'm on here? Uh, because I would love to answer them. I know there's a delay. So I'm going to kind of give it some a couple seconds. Um just, just the moral of the story here is love yourself where you're at and um, love everybody else where they are and keep going because you all are leaders already. If you're in this group, even if you don't have a team, you are a leader. You took that step. You are a leader of one. You're a leader in search of a team and they will come to you because you're going to keep taking these steps. You're in here. 
right? You're watching the training. You're doing the things I hope, right? And we all know what the things are. We do. And I just told you my DMO and it did, it's not impressive, is it? It's not like, really? That's, that's it? That, that's all you do? Yes. That's all I do. I mean, it's, but it works because I do it every day. And you can too. I'm not telling you to do as much as I do as far as reach outs to start. Please don't do that. Like Messenger might even flag you or something if you start doing that, like out the gate. But one person, if you reached out to one person a day, do you know how much you're doing, how much more you're doing than most people? Do you realize? We're in a business that is about creating relationships and, and talking to people. And most don't talk to anyone all day. They hope that somebody, they post a post or do a video and pray to God that somebody's going to reach out to them. When how many, how many, how many of you honestly remember, like maybe you saw something cool and think, I'm going to go get that later. I'm going to message her about that later. And you forget. How many of you, I want that, but I don't want to really message her or him or whatever it is. No, I'll, 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 I'll look for something else. It's scary for them, but it's our job. So I'd I, at least try it. That's all I'm saying. At least try it. Doesn't have to be anything gross. Actually, matter of fact, I'm telling you, don't be gross. Okay. <laughs> but if you want an example of something I send to people, you can comment below and I'll put a couple examples for you um, in the comments other than the couple that I mentioned. I appreciate y'all. If y'all do have questions, even if it's on the replay, Ask them. I will come back and answer them. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are in, obviously, you're in the best hands ever because you're on this team. So, keep going. You are going to get there. Like, I know that there's going to be a ton of top hackers here and a ton of ambassadors. And you're just going to go all the way. All the way, all the way, all the way in your time. And it's going to be awesome. So, let me see. Exactly. Anna, thank you. Right? She asked you. You wouldn't have reached out, but she did, and you're here now. Do you do you see that? Do you do you hear it? Like you can't overthink it. You just have to remember that. Ask yourself, what's more important? Me worrying about my self-image and what somebody might think of me, or me. Asking someone, offering them information, and possibly changing their life, their family's life, their complete future. Which one weighs more to you? Ego? Because that's what it is, y'all. That is what it is. Ego or possibly changing somebody's life. I think this one wins, right? I would say for most of you, this one's going to win. So, you can do it, okay? You can do it. Let me know how it goes. If you reach out to somebody today, I recommend you to do that. If you do, tell me how it went. I'll even help you with responses it, or, or whatever. I'm going to put examples, but if they respond back and you're like, what do I do now? Put a screenshot. I will help you. That's how much it works for me. That's how much I want you to at least try it. At least try, okay? Y'all have a happy Friday. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.